Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There's nothing for you to do except just get yourself comfortable. Either sitting in a comfortable supportive chair or lying down on a flat surface that's also comfortable, such as a bed or maybe a sofa. Remembering that you can change the position of your body at any time because comfort is the most important thing. So just to remind you that I do have a podcast as well, Deep Sleep Whisper, Let Me Bore You to Sleep, um, uh, was it Jason's Bedtime Story Time, Boring Objects, uh, Stress and Pain Relief Podcast, so I'll do a few different ones, um, just in case you're interested. So now, I'd like you to close your eyes, provided you're settled. Now there's always a chance of background sound, either on this recording, hopefully not too much, or even where you are. Now that's okay. I know it's it's easy enough for me to say that. But if we all waited for complete silence before relaxing or drifting off to sleep, we may have a long wait. And for me right now, even though the windows are closed, there is distant traffic on the motorway. Now sometimes I can't hear it at all, but for some reason maybe the wind's blowing this way. The motorway is farting or something so it's coming this way and I can hear it but the microphone doesn't really pick up much of that background sound thankfully so it is a slight distraction for me just as there would be if I was lying down and wanting to go to sleep or relax and Maybe there was someone in the garden with a lawnmower or something. But then you come to start thinking that you don't need, you realise you don't need quiet in order to relax. just had a motorbike go past (laughs) and that's okay I mean I guess there's a limit you know if there was a helicopter landing in the garden then I would have to stop this recording you know partly because it's going to be very distracting and not very pleasant for the people listening but also because I'm nosy and I want to find out why there why there's a helicopter in the garden I would definitely be focusing on that but the likelihood of that happening is very very rare it's not likely to happen so background sounds kind of just part of being here there's always going to be some type of background sound even even if it's just your own breathing you know if it's if you're in a silent environment you can hear your own breathing you can hear the creak of the bed perhaps when you move Maybe the sounds of the building, sounds of the central heating, perhaps. 
the wind outside, the rain tapping on the window. You know, it's just standard, always going to be some kind of sound. But what I noticed, and I've mentioned this before, is there's a, there's a point when we relax. There's a point where it's almost as if the ears just switch off on their own. They stop taking any notice of what's going on outside because you're focusing on how you feel inside. Even when you're focusing on your body, it's still an internal physical experience. So you could say, well, when you focus on your feet, that's outside, you know, it's it's outside of your mind and it's there on the bed your feet are at the end of your legs usually but the physical experience as you focus on your feet as they relax is an internal experience and the more time you spend focusing on your internal experience, the less you even notice external stimuli, such as a car going past the house. See, that distraction sometimes, you know, when you're watching a movie or maybe you've got your partner and they're on the laptop or reading a book or something like that and you talk to them and they're not hearing you. They don't hear you. I mean, there's a chance they might be ignoring you, I guess, but generally they're so focused on what they're doing that their ears have just turned off. This happens sometimes when I'm in a queue. So I'm queuing for you know, 20 minutes uh, in a place, in a bank or somewhere like that. And after the first few minutes, my mind starts to go internal. I start to take less attention of what's going on around me. And sometimes I will just begin daydreaming start thinking about something and quite often I will actually focus on relaxing. When I'm in a public place I like to try and be mindful of how I physically feel and how, you know, what, what my stress levels are in that particular environment and I like to keep the tension as low as possible so I guess in a way I'm constantly doing a uh, body scan observing how I feel in the moment It's a, it's a meditative practice, I guess. I don't think of it as meditation personally, but it is. It is meditation. It's a mindfulness exercise. But it's been something that I needed to learn to do due to uh, illness when I was younger. I had extreme anxiety and stress uh, back in my early 30s to the point of losing my job and really being ill so I had to learn to meditate well, I didn't have to learn to meditate but I did but I did need to learn how to become aware of how I was feeling 
then it's something that we can all do quite easily because how we feel is evident it's there it's not generally hiding the cause of how we are feeling how we feel may not be as evident as the actual physical experience itself but we don't need to know necessarily the cause in order to let uh, stress out of our body in order to uh, allow give it permission to be released and to drop away in the same way we don't need to know why our minds may be overactive when we're trying to go to sleep the cause and the reason isn't necessary in that moment. It may be something very worthwhile exploring, maybe in therapy or just getting to know yourself a bit better. Yet in the moment, when you're lying there, wanting to go to sleep, because you've got to get up in the morning, you've got things to do. You don't need to know the cause of why your mind may be racing a bit faster than normal. There's no reason to know that. All you need to know is how to reduce those feelings just need to know how to slow down your mind and that's something that I focus on quite a lot in my recordings the slowing down of the thoughts of your mind gradually slowing down so that your stress levels reduce. And there's so many different ways that you can get to the position of feeling completely relaxed and calm. You, by relaxing your mind, your body relaxes. When you relax your body, your mind relaxes. And when your mind relaxes, the thoughts in your mind start to slow down and become less and less. And the good thing about letting go of all of your thoughts is that even those thoughts that are really important to you, although you let them go, that information and those thoughts are still available when you wake up. So you don't forget anything. It's still there when you wake up. But it's just not necessary when you're in bed sleeping. Just in the same way as you don't leave your car running in the driveway or in the garage when you're in your house watching television eating your dinner and then going to bed you turn it on in the morning when you next go outside you know it's still there you don't need to keep it running you can turn the engine off and turn it on when you need it to be on the next time you require to drive your car. And I equate that to the thoughts in your mind. However important some of them are, you don't need any of them when you're sleeping. No thinking is required because relaxing deeply sleeping deeply is something 
that we were born to be able to do that takes zero thinking. No thought required, no energy required. It's the complete opposite. It's about just letting go of everything, everyone, all things just let go completely. Just let go of everything. And when you just choose to make that decision that you want to let go of everything and you want your mind to slow down and those thoughts to just drop away. Once you've made that decision, that's what starts to happen. You literally can make that decision and just wait for those thoughts to slow down. And slow down they will. You can wait for them to just drop away like pebbles on the floor. And that is what will happen. Because that's what you have requested from your brain. Because you know what you need. And you need to have a nice calm mind to drift off to sleep. Nice and calm and peaceful. Because nothing is required in that moment. You really can let go of everything. Safe in the knowledge that you will be able to relax so deeply. Relaxing is so easy when you make the decision to let go. And just by listening to these recordings, listening to my boring voice, automatically triggers that energy within you that starts to melt away those thoughts. Because my voice, my boring droney voice, is like kryptonite to stress and tension because the second you start listening to me the stress and the tension in your body and mind starts to panic and starts to think oh no it's that boring voice again and they don't want to stick around Stress, tension, discomfort does not like listening to me. It's too boring for them. They want excitement. They want something interesting. And I don't offer interesting. I offer relaxing. I offer healing and calmness. Peace of mind, feeling loose and calm. And those stressful thoughts don't want any part of me. They hear my voice and they know it's time to leave. It's time for that stress to leave you every part of your body and your mind and that's what happens as soon as you start to hear my voice you will start to relax as soon as you hear my voice your body will relax and your mind will slow down every time and I'd like you to count from 20 to 1 in your own time and after every number 
say to yourself, relaxing is easy. Relaxing is easy. And say that to yourself after every number from 10, uh, from 20 down to 1. Relaxing is easy. And as you say it, notice how relaxed you feel in your body and how calm you feel in your mind. Relaxing is easy. Thank you for listening.